Hello and welcome back to a new IELTS Express video. It is your favorite teacher here, Florina. And today we're going to have another essay analysis, um, the essay, the third um, essay from the series. And we're going to focus on an opinion essay, whether is it good or bad to keep animals in zoos. So grab a notepad and your enthusiasm and let's get started. We're going to start with the first thing by understanding the task. This is basically what you're going to see during your exam. Again, you should stick to the time limit. Spend 40 minutes writing this one. I'm going to give you a breakdown. Spend six to maximum seven minutes planning, understanding the task, underlining or circling keywords, brainstorming ideas, 30 minutes actually writing the essay, and then three to four minutes reading, proofreading your essay, checking for grammar or spelling mistakes, and then you're done. This is this is the proposition, the one you have here, and this is the question. Now you might be saying, whoa, 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 whoa. How is this an opinion essay if I see advantages and disadvantages? Now, I've also posted a full uh, lesson about this one and the differences between uh, the questions. The previous lesson, um, essay analysis number two, was about advantages and disadvantages. And it was something about um, what are the advantages and disadvantages. Now here, it's an opinion because it asks you whether you think, do you think, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. So make sure you don't um, mistake the two questions. Don't fall into the trap of, ah, oh, this is an advantage and disadvantage essay, so it's easy for me. No, this is an opinion essay. Uh, it's basically um, a wolf in a sheep clothing. You have to be very careful about this. So first of all, you need to decide which side is stronger. Now, this is your call the advantages or the disadvantages, and obviously you have to explain your opinion. If you don't decide which is stronger, and if you don't explain your opinion, it means that you haven't completely and fully answered the question, so you're going to be penalized under the task achievement uh, criterion because you haven't written what you were supposed to write. Obviously, you should not forget to include reasons and examples from your own knowledge and experience. And again, make sure you stick to the uh, word limit, at least 250 words. Otherwise, you're going to be penalized and we don't want that. All right. You already know the drill. When you plan the essay, we're going to stick to a four paragraph essay, the introduction, which is a paraphrase of the question and a thesis statement. This is what you have to do. Do not introduce outline sentences. And I have a short on my uh, YouTube channel about this, why you shouldn't be doing this. If you have outline sentences such as uh, in the following paragraphs or this essay will deal with this, doesn't bring any added value to the table. It's a sentence which you have memorized and you have inserted it in your introduction, in your essay. It's memorized, uh, it doesn't bring forth any ideas. What's the point? Yeah, I'm the examiner, I can read your introduction, I can read the paragraphs, so there's no need for you to say, and this, this essay will deal with both advantages and disadvantages. In paragraph one and paragraph two, you should explain which side is stronger, advantages or disadvantages. And you should also um, explain why you think this is stronger. And then, of course, the conclusion. Um, I strongly recommend you save time to write the conclusion, even if it's a one sentence conclusion, that's totally fine. It's even better than to have not a very well written conclusion than not to have it at all. It's basically you have your essay crippled. You have a head, body, but no legs. You have it in a wheelchair. I know it sounds very gruesome, but make sure you save time to write the conclusion. Okay, let's get started. We have our model answer. We start with the introduction, obviously. And as you can see, you can introduce the topic by explaining it in your own words. That's called paraphrasing. 
Some people argue that this is cruel, but in my opinion, this is what I think. And you also summarize your, your point of view. Although zoos have, good, have both good and bad points, the advantages are greater than. Greater than means that I have already decided from my introduction that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. Again, since this is an essay for band 5 and 5.5, uh, I have basic vocabulary, both good and bad. You can say pros and cons, benefits and drawbacks if you're aiming for band 7 or more. Uh, again, don't generalize. Some people, not everyone, uh, don't point fingers. Don't say that old people say this or youngsters or whatever. I also promotes and encourages tolerance towards others, other people's views. Yeah, so you shouldn't say that, oh, I hold the absolute truth. I know exactly that my opinion is the best and I won't accept any other opinions. Okay. Now, let's move on to the first paragraph. As you can see, the first phrase, the main advantage, introduces the, the first advantage that you're going to talk about, since you said that advantages are going to be stronger to outweigh the disadvantages. And you also explain the main point of view. This means that in more details and you give examples again where possible. And it's really important that you make sure that um, all information is relevant. You also have a further advantage so you introduce more advantages to back up your idea. You give examples, which is, this one is a little bit better than the one in the previous uh, essays. It's outside the comfort zone. Children in Europe, for example, can see elephants and giraffes, and children in Brazil can enjoy watching kangaroos and emus. We also have, for example, signposting that this is an example. And the very last sentence, you write more about the site because you think it's stronger. I believe this is a very special, important experience. This, again, reference. This refers to what? This, that children in Europe can see elephants, whereas children in Brazil can enjoy watching kangaroos and emus. So for a band five, I think this is very clear, logical, I like it. Obviously, the next paragraph is going to deal with the drawback side, the disadvantages. And I start with, however, I contrast and I present the disadvantages. I explain it. Yeah. The main one is that the animals that live there are not free. And then I support the idea with examples. They're not living in a totally natural way. And again, many people believe that it is not right. And again, I bring forth many, many arguments to support that my side is stronger and I introduce it with but. Yeah, you can also argue that the natural world is a cruel place for wild animals. It's hard for them to find food and they can be attacked by other animals. So it's better for them to stay in, in zoo. So basically, half of the second paragraph is about, oh uh, yeah, there are some disadvantages, but I think that my side is stronger, the one with disadvantages. And now I, me as an examiner, I can see, okay, 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 yes, look, this person has brought arguments and examples that the side is stronger, I believe him, has brought uh, examples, everything is very clear. And if we look in the conclusion, again, it was signposted in conclusion, yeah, you can see that even the opinion in conclusion summarizes the reason. And again, it shows that the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. I believe that benefits they bring us are more important than any disadvantage. And boom, here you have it. An opinion essay in which you have to decide whether the advantages outweigh the uh, the advantages, sorry, outweigh the disadvantages. Four paragraph essay, easy to write if you want 
to get band 5 or band 5.5. And I think, uh, yes, 10 minutes. That's good. So that was a very fast-paced lesson for you, a walkthrough of how to write an opinion essay. And you're done. And I would like you to, I would like to thank you, and I really appreciate it sticking uh, with me towards the end. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I would really appreciate it if you could share um, this lesson to your friends or your acquaintances who are struggling with writing essays. And again, not only band nine sample answers matter. Maybe there are people who need band six or five. That would that uh, that will still do for them. That'll be all for me. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day ahead. Um, don't forget to keep practicing, keep going. Consistency is very important. Fall down, get up a thousand times, and trust me, you'll get there. See you next time with a new lesson. Bye-bye.